We got to know Montel Williams as a radio and talk show personality in the 90s, but we've come to understand him in a whole different way since he shared his journey battling multiple sclerosis after his diagnosis in 1999. He was told he'd be in a wheelchair within four years. But this is what he was doing last week, snowboarding in Colorado. Today, he is a health and wellness expert advocating for us all to take our health into our own hands. I, mean, I was diagnosed now almost 13 years ago and a little bit over 13 years ago. And when that diagnosis came, you know, I was in the middle of what then was an episode or about. You know, MS, and for people who don't know it, is a disease that's really an autoimmune disease where our immune system is attacking a certain area of the nervous system. And you know, I was going through a bout, one of those periods where the immune system was really pounding on me. So I kind of bounced back. I started, you know, uh, uh, changing the way I live, everything from my diet to my exercise to taking my medication and actually adding a lot of supplementation to my life. I started doing things. I was on a hormonal replacement. I was doing a lot of different things. Let's understand something. This is the biggest issue, not MS, but chronic mm -hmm. illness mm -hmm. is the biggest issue facing our nation. It's, 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 it's worse than the Taliban. Right. And because, why? This week, the National Institute of Health put out the, the numbers that we are 75%, three, two, two thirds of this nation is overweight or obese. Right. We have right now, one third of the nation suffers from a chronic illness and we believe that by 2020, close to 60% of this nation will have a chronic illness or two. And that's where stress comes in. Correct. Now, chronic illness, this is going to bankrupt America. We're talking about, everybody's arguing about Obamacare. Eh, 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 mm -hmm. eh, eh, shut up. This is the most ignorant discussion we've ever had and held in America today. We need to be talking about what we're going to do when baby boomers like me who don't pay attention to their health, don't try to take care of themselves, become a burden on our tax dollars. I would hope that I could claim that one day I help be responsible for a cure for MS. MS is a disease that we're going to find out over time is more than one disease, it's four diseases, and over time we're going to find out we may not cure this for 30 years. But what I want to do is help people live better with it. And you're doing and that's that. What I'm doing.